Hi everyone! In this video I will show you how you can use saturation to make samples and very clean recordings more exciting. Saturation can really help to give edge to a sound and make it more exciting. You can add warmth, you can pull elements out of the mix and you can create a signature sound. But what is actually saturation? Well, saturation is a subtle form of distortion that adds pleasant sounding harmonic overtones. I made a short song for the video. The song itself doesn't have a lot of treatment going on because I really want you to hear how saturation sounds. So I have uh, synth sounds, pad sounds, and here is a bass sound. And I have a drum bus. In the drum bus, I have two separate drum buses, one for my low end drums and one for my high-end drums. So here you see the black box. I will use this one uh, for the low-end part. I really like this one. I can use saturation and there are also two different kinds of harmonics that I can play with. So the pentode is the even harmonics and the triode are the odd harmonics. I will make now the settings for it. So let's listen. I start with the even ones. So here you can already hear what the saturation is doing. I go a tiny bit back. Over here on this point, I already can hear that it's pushing the kick a little bit forward. So this is really nice. It gets a little bit more energy. So now I go here to try out. Really nice. So I keep it here. To use the saturation, I go here on in. I can also choose between two different tube styles. So you can hear already what does, that does. Now let's check the other tube. This definitely gives a really nice boost, so I go a bit back. Here's also density that I can use, so we can check this one out. So here I got more attack. I have now my settings and I will adjust them now with the rest of the song. Too much. Tiny bit. Here I listen also. Over here and here. So I'm louder and I will now go back on the output to match it with the level that I had originally. And I can decide if I want to use this in parallel. It's now 100%, but I can uh, go from zero, that is nothing, and then blend it slowly in. So now I have the first part done. Now we go to the high-end drums. The high-end drums sound like this. And I would like to make them more crunchy. This one is from Sound Toys and it's called Devil Lock. And uh, let's listen uh, what we can do with this one. So you're here already. I really like the smack that it also gives to the clap. So let's listen. You also can use a filter, so if you have it a tiny bit too bright, you can uh, get a little bit less of this. So let's listen. I'll take it like this. And now with music. Music. 
And here is the mix. This is now 100%. So I go back to zero and blend it in. Both of the drum basses are now done. I group them into a next drum bass because now I want to glue them a little bit more together with another saturation. For this, I use the decapitator. This one is also really nice for drum groups and you have different settings. You see here A, E, and T, P. These are different kinds of channel strips with a particular sound color and saturation color. So let's listen to this one. I will drive the plugin now and we will listen to the different settings. So you can hear, this is, this is really already distortion. So I go back. So this is the first one. Now we go to the next one. So this one has a lot of energy forward. Then we have this one. Ah, I like the E already better than this one. So, but let's listen to this one. This one is a little bit more sudden. I really like to eat. I right away got like an energy that I like. So now we got the right setting. This is still on 100%. I will blend it in, in parallel, so that I still keep the original tone. Yeah, this is really nice. So you can already hear the drums come more forward. The next one is the bass sound. For the bass sound, I would like to get a little bit more sustain out. I use a radiator for that. Here it is. I will play with the input and the bass. So I will drive it a tiny bit more here. You see, if I drive it a lot, then you also hear distortion. But I like to give it a tiny bit like this. Now we go to the bass. So there's a lot. I just want to give it a bit over here. The next sound I want to give a little bit of treatment is the synth sound. Here you have the saturation knob. This is a free plugin from Softube. You just can download it from the website. It's very simple because you just have one knob to use. So you can hear what you can do with this one. This will really distortion. Now we are in saturation. This one doesn't have an output level, so if it gets too loud, you can uh, use a utility plugin to lower it or you go a little bit down with the fader. So here we have the main synth. And for the main synth, I again will use the black box. So nice. Can hear this saturation. This is also really nice. We will listen now to the song without any saturation treatment. And now we will listen to the song with saturation treatment. I hope you got now a few more ideas on how to use saturation for your own music. Just let me know in the comment section if you have more questions. Maybe you have also other ideas that you want to share with us. Just let me know and I see you next time.